Hey everyone, it's Baron from Attack Interactive and in this video we are going to be covering configuration page under your system tab. As you can see we are in the configuration page right now. Um, our navigation panel is going to be on our left and the page we are covering right now is general configuration. Uh, over here we are going to choose our default country which is United States. In this list, we're going to be choosing which countries are going to be allowed to access, have access to our web page. Uh, we're going to choose the pages by the countries by clicking on them. As you can see, when we click on top of them, it's going to turn blue. If it's blue, that country is allowed. If you want to choose more than one country, um, you can control click on any of the countries to turn them into blue. Or if you want to choose one or more than one, you can shift click and it's going to choose the whole um, list under your co country. Um, so the basic difference between shift click and control click is with the control click you can put spaces and choose different countries, but if you're clicking with shift, you got to choose um, the countries under or on top of the country you selected. Let's select every country um, on this list. So I go down to the last country and then I shift click. So right now, all the countries are allowed on my web page. Postal code to make the postal code optional for the country, you're simply going to have to choose the country um, for Hong Kong, Ireland, um, China. The postal code is optional. Um, some countries don't have postal codes uh, they don't have to add the postal code for the address part so this is why it's there um, state options also some countries don't have states so we're not gonna force them into um, choosing their state on their on the order page so these countries um, basically state is not gonna be asked for these countries if they're ordering from one of the countries that is listed over here. Um, locale options, you're gonna choose your time zone on this part of the um, general configuration page. Um, our time zone is Pacific. It's um, English is the locale page. Um, first day of the week is gonna be Sunday. And then week our weekend days are going to be Sunday, and if we control click, we can choose the Saturday from this list. Uh, store information, this is important as you can imagine. Uh, you're going to write your store name over here, and then the um, store contact phone, the country, and the WEAT number, um, and then the contact address. Um, when you're done with this, um, you should go on top and save this from by clicking over here. Um, this part is important because it's um, it's just saves this information and uses it whenever needed. For example, um, at the bottom of your email, it's gonna have your contact information or anywhere else uh, where they need to use your store information. The things you put over here is gonna show up. Um, next is web. The web configuration part might seem a little bit complex compared to the other pages, but um, most of the stuff over here is going to be set for you, so you don't need to change anything unless you're changing it by purpose. Um, I'm just going to be overviewing this page so that you know what's going on over here, but once again, um, don't change anything if you don't know anything about this page. So. Um, we're gonna see our URL here. URL is basically your address, your web address. This is the main base URL for your page. If we copy paste this link, it is just gonna take us to the to our home page. And then these settings are set for you, so you don't need to change anything if you don't want to change the. Um, let's say um, your skin files are gonna be on one address. So this is going to be the address for your skin files. If you want to name it something else, you can just change it. But um, if you're not doing it by purpose for something, uh, just don't change it. This is all set for you. Once again, your base URL, uh, base link, skins. This is the unsecure and this is the secure part. Default page. Um, 
what's going to happen if the page is not going to be found. Here, this is the um, poll options. Um, you can just allow one IP address to vote once or more than once. The um, cookie management is here. This is basically the um, web configuration that is set for you. Let's take a look at design. Well, this is your design configuration page. As you can see, our current package is written over here. This should be written on your panel as well. You can also, uh, if you want to change the design, the package, uh, you're going to have to write the new file name for that package. Those files are going to be located on your Magento files. Themes, you can uh, add a new theme. Uh, you once again have to write its name. You can choose to use only skin or layout of your theme. In this page, you're going to have to write their file names individually over here. Uh, if you write the name for skin, it will just only use the skin part of your theme. HTML head, HTML is basically uh, if you were using a web design software, you would um, have to write all these manually to your code part. Um, this part basically consists of the codes, but this panel just um, makes you just write whatever you want and it is going to use it in the code so that you don't have to deal with the coding part. The favicon icon is going to be located on top of the address bar of your web browser. Um, there's going to be a small logo for your web page uh, and then there's going to be a description next to this logo. So here's where you can change that part. Uh, you can choose to add keywords you can choose to have a title, um, description, you can add scripts, you can do whatever you want. A header is the top part of your page. Uh, let's take a look at the web page. Uh, so this is the header part. Um, and this is going to be the, our logo. So the address for that logo is here. If you want to choose another image, you would have to type in its address. And then if we stay on top of our logo, um, yeah, let's try it again. If we stay on top of our logo, it's going to bring the description, which is this part. If you change it, it's going to change over here on the page. And this is the welcome text. Full there. Footer is the lower part of your web page, which is right here. So if you change it, that will change that part. The product image watermark, if you want to add a watermark to your image, uh, you should add a file over here. And then it is going to add that image on top of your all the images on your web page uh, pagination. This is how this is how many links to display at once. Leave it at five. Transactional emails. You can choose to add a logo to the transactional emails you're sending from your store. Uh, you'll just have to upload the logo here, and then then image description, which would be written on top of your image if you go on top of the image with your mouse. Next is currency setup. Uh, over here, you can change your currency options. Right now, our base currency is US dollars and default currency is US dollars. Uh, we can choose to allow more currencies, euros, whichever. Uh, you can once again control click or shift click um, to choose more currencies. Um, once again, you don't have to change it here if, unless you don't want to. Uh, store email addresses, you're going to Write your emails over here um, for general contract, sales representative, customer support, customer email one, two, contacts. On this page, you can choose to enable contact us page um, and then send emails to this address and using this email sender. You can choose to have a template for that email uh, if you add a template from this page, the transactional emails page, it is going to show up over here. The reports, um, 
this is gonna be set for you to just to um, verify the year start date and then the month start day content management oh you can choose to enable this or disable uh, if you want to use the editor once again the most of the stuff over here is gonna be set for you or you're gonna have to uh, manually check every page and see what is in because um, we're gonna be also covering um, some of the stuff in detail on our upcoming videos uh, the details that you will need on your web page but um, don't get scared to um, just click on every page and check what's happening you can also um, change the options here and then go back to your web page and check what it does for your actual web page that way it's gonna be easier for you to learn it uh, theme settings you can change your theme settings we have different options here for your theme um, just go through all of this and uh, try to make a sense of what you change over here how it's gonna reflect on your web page uh, you can once again change your theme options uh, your footer for the team, the um, customization. You can choose to configure the theme design. You can choose its colors, the font size, the page styles. I just go over and see what's going to happen for you. Uh, theme layout, you can set a layout. Uh, there are a couple of extensions. There's a um, catalog. There's more stuff, really a bunch of different options. Um, just go through all of it. That is going to help you out. So uh, there's front end for your catalog, product reviews, you can allow guests to write reviews or not, uh, the price options, catalog search, search optimization. One of the most important part over here is sales. Uh, you're going to set your payment methods here how you're gonna do the transaction of course we're gonna cover it in detail in another video but just so you know it's over here uh, basically anything you're gonna configure or set up over your web page is gonna be on this page um, let's take a look at the admin page uh, admin user emails startup page options base URL security dashboard uh, more stuff is here system and then advanced really you can do a lot of stuff using this page on your configuration page uh, just go through everything your tax options just um, try to understand what's going on over here and then check your web page original web page um, from time to time to um, see what changes it does uh, we're here at the end of our configuration overview um, this is once again it's Baron from Attack Interactive and thank you for watching this video